Oof. There's something valuable to be learned from every experience, even the sucky ones. And what we learned today is... <laughs> Sunday morning, February 4th, and we're here for Comic Burst Con in Sacramento. This is a smaller convention, single day, but I hear that it is worthwhile. I mean, for like a single day convention. I have a little bit of experience with single day conventions, like Love at Comic Con, you might have seen that vlog. I've also done things like Carrier Con and Kauai Fest here in the Bay Area. And personally, I love single day cons. I think they're easy and fun and you get to see a lot of local creators and artists. So I'm looking forward to today. We're working with a six foot table, which is rough, but we'll make it work. And my neighbor's not here yet, which I don't like not having a neighbor, but maybe if they don't show up, I can use their table. <laughs> Here it is. It's like nine, ten o'clock, something like that. Here's the six foot table. It was really hard fitting everything into this, such a small amount of space, but gotta get used to it if you wanna do a lot of artist alleys. So I've got clothes, tote bag and stuff here. Sticker sheets, keychains I'm trying to retire, stickers. I like my, my sticker wall, the cubes, the squares that I usually use, but this, is better when I'm tight on space. It's not ideal, but it works. Got the postcards, put the large stickers here. Venmo code is off to the side because I have no more room for it. And then what's remaining of the keychains because I'm trying to get rid of them. Posters in the back per usual. And then Cody's working today, so my dad's helping me. Slow day, guys. Update, it's 2.15, still slow. This might be worse than OK Marketplace for me. Uh, I just wanna go home. This is gonna be a short vlog. Just met the first fellow Kelsey ever who spells her name the same way I do. Literally, literally, we're the only two in existence. So it was nice to meet you, Kelsey. Those ones. Sure. Oh, yay! Thank you. Thank you. Kyan, you gotta move if you don't want me in my vlog. <laughs> I know you don't like showing your face. Oh, it's so the power's out, um, and it doesn't look like it's coming back on. Some people are tearing down, some people have left already. Um, 
What? What a freaking day, man. <laughs> Hopefully this at least makes for an interesting vlog. <laughs> Since it looks like I'm probably gonna be going home soon anyway, I figured I might as well share the back because I said I have a nice organization back here, so might as well share it. Um, this was the closet, so that's why it's like that. And then all the shirts were organized here. I have like a little workspace, I guess. This is where I was putting my square reader since I didn't have a ton of space. Um, I was using the behind of these shelves as extra storage. And then just, you know, extras, bags, whatnot. Um, I'm happy with my setup. I like how organized I am, at least. What a weird day. Okay, well, that's the end. We are... See our, our little light? Because the, the lights are out. Uh, anyways, it's the end. We're packing up. Most people have already dipped by now. It's only like four. <laughs> oh, I'll save my thoughts for the recap, but, um, yeah. At least it wasn't completely boring, right? So that happened. Um, Let's just get this recap over with. <laughs> Typically I format this review portion as like the pros and the cons. I'm gonna flip that. We're gonna start with the cons and then we're gonna go into the pro, one single pro. And I'm gonna do my best to remain as unbiased as possible. And I'm just going to state the facts. I'm also gonna share some rumors because it just gives context. And then based on all of this, you can decide how you feel about this event. Okay, so let's talk about it. First off, weather sucked, which can't control that. It's winter in NorCal and ever since the drought ended, California's been weeping. There's just water everywhere all the time, so much rain. And so you know how Californians are, rains. We don't know what to do with ourselves. People don't show up to events basically. There were other events happening this weekend. None of them were very successful either. It was just a bad weekend because of the weather. So weather sucked, high winds, lots of rain. Second part, the attendance was on the very low side, which yes, this was a small convention, but you can still bring in a, a certain number of people, even if you are on the smaller side. And I think they were bringing in significantly less than they have before in the past, because this isn't a brand new convention. So attendance was low. Those who did show up were not paying a lot and not interested in shopping, honestly. It seemed more like a social gathering my median purchase was significantly lower than what I'm used to. So in addition to bad weather and low attendance, there was even fewer sales. I'm aware you can't always control these things, but the, the fourth thing is something that they can control, and that is the price. The table price was significantly way more expensive than conventions of the same size, if not larger. For example, I've been a part of conventions like Carrier Con, which is significantly larger than this. And the table price was less than half of what I paid at Comic Verse Con. And I make, I don't know, like 10, 20 times more money there. We're moving more into word of mouth things, some rumors. Apparently the organizers are fine with AI generated art, which wherever you stand on that, that's your opinion. But as an artist, I'm not a fan of it. And I don't know many artists who are. So when fellow vendors found out that there was a vendor there selling AI generated art and just flat out stolen images, you can imagine how unhappy people were about that. And when this was brought to the organizer, he was fine with it. And you can only imagine the reactions. <laughs> there was a rumor that apparently there was a predator there who'd been blacklisted from other conventions for sexual harassment. So I, that's a big claim. Like I'm just gonna, that's there. We're not gonna talk about it much because if you're gonna claim something like that, you better be right. The final nail in the coffin for me though, personally, is that because of the wind and the rain, there was a power outage as you saw somewhere around 3.30. Typically what happens in a power outage is that the organizers will communicate what's gonna happen next. Like, oh, the con is gonna continue or we're gonna close early or even just something, right? They literally gave us nothing. <laughs> We were all just staring in the dark at each other. And I mean, before that point, vendors were already leaving because of how dead it was, because there were rumors about the AI 
art. But definitely by this point, everyone was just done. And now I'm going into a little bit of bias, but at this point I was just unhappy. If you're gonna organize an event, you need to communicate about the event. Like, is it going on? Is it not? They never checked up on us. They never mentioned that we were gonna close early or that we were gonna continue till five. No announcement, just quiet. And I imagine he was like, the organizers were probably frustrated too at this point, but I'm like, I don't care. Like you're running a business, be professional about it. That was just it for me. At that point, I was like, you know what? I don't care. I'm, I'm over today. <laughs> so there you go. It, okay, let's talk about the one good thing I got out of this event. And it was a valuable lesson. I learned how valuable community is. Oh my gosh, it's like a shonen anime. The power of friendship. <laughs> but being so real, it was such a bad day. Like the first few hours, I was not happy, but I had friends there, particularly one friend, Midori-chan, who she just always makes me laugh. Sorry, I hate you when I laugh, but <laughs> she always cracks me up. Oh, having friends there who cheered me up. Also, my Discord was popping off at this time, so I was nice and distracted with our chat. And I did an event last year where I was completely alone. Not completely, I had Cody, but there weren't any other vendors that I knew, which is really rare for me because I kind of know a lot of people. I got a lot of friends at this point, so. but I didn't know anyone and the event did really poorly. And I just felt so down on myself for like a long time, maybe a whole week after that. It was just really hard to shake that. And I think it's because I didn't have the community I had at that event that I had at this event. And it made all the difference. And I mean, it sucked, but here I am like laughing about it. You know, I was able to move on from it pretty quickly. I've mentioned this in videos before, but make friends if you're gonna be doing this because you have no idea the impact they're gonna have on you. Sometimes it's like the business impact, right? They could share their thoughts that could really help your business. But other times it's just, they might say something that's gonna make you laugh when you really needed a laugh and that's gonna make all the difference. So yeah, the power of friendship helps us beat the bad guy and get through lesser successful events. I'm not gonna share my conclusion because I think we all know where I stand there, but I'd be interested in hearing your thoughts. Are you local to the area? Did you hear about these things? Were you at the event and you actually enjoyed yourself? That is, uh, <laughs> that is a thought I'd be very interested in hearing. So please sound off in the comments and let me know and let's talk about it. My next event is this Saturday. I'm gonna be selling in Concord at the I Heart Harajuku marketplace, which if you watched my vlog in December, this is the same marketplace in a different location. I'm excited. I hope it's dry. Let's pray for dry weather. But if you like watching these vlogs, make sure to stay tuned for that one, as well as watching some of my other ones. If you want to follow me on social media, my handle is here, as well as the links are in the description. My draw this in your style challenge on Instagram is still going strong all the way until March 31st. So if you're interested in participating, make sure to check that out. If you want to purchase my art for yourself, you can find me on Etsy, same handle, or again, link is in the description. Description. January was a bit of a break month for me, but from this point on, we're gonna be pretty busy and you're gonna see a lot more of these kinds of vlogs. So make sure you're subscribed if you enjoy. And thank you for watching. I hope to see you in the next one. We've got a lot coming up. Bye. Oh, hello, you're still here. While you're here, you should check out this video. I don't know what it is. YouTube picked it out for you, just for you. So you should check it out. Also subscribe and like, please, please. <laughs>